may adlaw na tong tanan. Do you have knee pain that makes it hard for you to walk or even stand up? And do you want to relieve your knee pain without surgery or medication? If you answered yes, then you need to watch this video until the end because I'm going to show you strategies and stretches to reduce your knee pain and improve your mobility for just a few minutes in a day. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. Now, I know knee pain is very annoying. It is hard for you to walk, run, or even stand up from sitting down or laying down from your bed. But don't you worry. In this video, I'm going to show you those strategies and stretches that will help you reduce the pain and improve your mobility. These strategies are simple and easy to do at home and these are very suitable for patients who have knee pain because of arthritis, injury, overuse, and hard to admit it, aging. Now before we get started, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, giving it a thumbs up, and clicking on that notification bell to notify you if there are new videos that are helpful for you or to your family and friends that are coming out from this channel. And if you are ready, let's get started. Now before we get started, rate your knee pain level from 0 to 10, 10 being really, really severe, that you need to go to the emergency room and compare that towards the end or after doing the strategies that I'm going to show you in this video. Okay? The first technique I'm going to show you is icing. This is very, very useful, especially if you just had your injury, your knee injury, like you had a fall or if you play sports, you just had an injury to your knee. So get you a gel ice pack and put it over your knee. Now this ice pack has the plastic side and the side with a cloth covering on it okay so i like to use the cloth covering on top of the knee and use it 15 to 20 minutes every two to three hours now if you don't have an ice pack or a gel ice pack you can also use ice there's a regular ice and put it in a ziploc or any plastic bag and wrap it around a towel a hand towel or any towel or just to make sure that you don't have an ice burn because yes ice also burns okay so just put it on your injured knee or your knee over the top of the painful area put it there about 15 to 20 minutes every two, two every two to three hours okay so that is your first technique especially if you have an acute knee pain or you just had an injury after you ice your knee we are going to massage it, okay? So you're going to massage your, your quads and your hamstring, okay? By the way, my injured knee in this video is going to be my right knee, okay? So you're going to massage from the front portion of your thigh and the back, okay? Massage the entire thigh, even from here, from the top. Okay, so you're massaging it. It is easier when you're massaging going down, but if you can also massage going up, that is also fine and even better, okay? So massage. If you have somebody who can help you, ask for help, okay? So massage it. Just avoid those bony prominences. Now, why we want to massage our quads and our hamstrings is because once these muscles are tight, it will affect your knee your knee will have less mobility, okay? So we need to loosen up those muscles and don't forget your calves, okay? So massage your calves. Now, there's an easier way. You can use a massage gun. Ah, let me reach for it. All right, so a massage gun will make massaging your thigh and your hamstrings. So just Put it on a level that is comfortable for you and massage from the top going down towards close to your knee. Just avoid the bony prominences or the bony areas of your thigh and your lower leg. Okay? So just massage for a few minutes using a massage gun. Don't worry, I'm going to leave links down below in the description area so you can get the equipments that I'm going to 
show you in this video, okay? So, just massage the quads and your calf muscle, all right? Do this for about maybe 10 minutes and that should help you loosen up those muscles which helps in relieving the knee pain, all right? So that is the second technique, massaging your leg and your lower leg. Now we're going to stretch to relieve your knee pain. And we are going to stretch first the front part of our thigh, which is your quads, okay? So there are two ways that I'm going to show you on how to stretch this effectively, okay? So the first one is going to be grabbing your foot from the back and bring it up to your buttocks, as close as to your buttocks as possible and hold it for about 15 to 30 seconds and a maximum of one minute, okay? So just hold it like that. Now, if you cannot do that because of the pain is so severe, put your injured, the, the leg with the injured knee up on a chair and come forwards for a tiny bit. If you need support, use a walker or another chair in front of you. And you're going to just bring that hip forward slightly. You should feel that stretch from the front of your thigh, okay? Just like that. And you can go forward just a tiny bit and then lean some more. Hold that position for about 15 to 30 seconds up to a minute, okay? So that is how you stretch your quad muscles or the front of your thigh. Now we're going to stretch the back of our thigh and your calf muscle. So the back of your thigh is your hamstring muscle, okay? So in order to do this, you put your legs out in front of you and get it as straight as possible, okay? And then point your toes up towards the ceiling or towards you and try to reach for your toes, just like this, okay? Now, if you can't do that and it is too painful on your knee, get you a gait belt or a regular belt that you have at home. Place it around the bottom of your foot. Pull closer and towards your toes, just like this, all right? Hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds up to a maximum of one minute, okay? Hold it there. And this should help you stretch the back of your thigh and your calf, all right? Just be very gentle in releasing after one minute maximum. Be very gentle so that the tendons of those muscles won't rebound, all right? So that is how you stretch your hamstrings and your calf muscle. Okay, the next three techniques, you can do this on your couch or on your bed. And the first one is going to be compression. So I recommend a compression garment, which is a compression sleeve, which will cover a bigger area of your leg. So when you have knee injury or knee pain, most probably you will have swelling or inflammation on your knee. So a compression garment by using a knee sleeve is very helpful, okay? So this will cover a bigger area of your leg. I'm going to leave you a link down below so it'll be easier you to find, it will be easier for you to find this knee sleeve, okay? So just pull it up and adjust so that the middle part of that knee sleeve is over your knee, okay? And of course, if you can wear a long pair of socks, wear them too, all right? So you can wear this the whole day if you can tolerate it but if you can't just uh, maybe start for an hour all right after wearing your knee sleeve elevate your leg okay elevate your leg for about 15 to 20 minutes okay and then while you are at it just do your ankle pumps do about a hundred if you can do a hundred but i'm not asking you to do a hundred Okay, so just do ankle pumps 
while you are laying on your couch or your bed with your leg elevated and while you are wearing your compression garment. So after 15 to 20 minutes of doing this, laying down on your couch or your bed, let's do isometric quad contractions. So put a pillow under your knee and you're just going to push it down towards the pillow. So knee down and hold it for about three seconds, okay? Let me move a little bit towards the edge so you can see better, all right? So push down for about three seconds and we will do this six reps. Three second hold in between, okay? So let's start, push down, one, two, three, one, release. Push down, one, two, three, two. Push down, hold, one, two, three, three. Push down, one, two, three, four. Push down, one, two, three, five. And last one, one, two, three, six. So those are the exercises and techniques you can do on your couch or on your bed to relieve some of your knee pain. Next, you need to sit on a higher surface such as your dining table, your office table, or even on a high chair because you need your leg to be dangling, okay? Hanging off that higher surface. And all you need to do is to swing your injured leg to relieve your knee pain, okay? So you're just going to swing it like a pendulum back and forth and side to side, okay? And then after that, you go circles, okay? Let's do 10 back and forth first, okay? Just do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't need to have big swings on this exercise or with this exercise, okay? So just like a pendulum. Just be gentle on those swings, okay? So let's do 10 side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the concept here is just like the Kudman exercise for your shoulder, right? So this will introduce more synovial fluid on that knee which is your lubrication for your joints, okay? So nuvial fluid is the lubrication for your joints, okay? So you're just going to swing this leg back and forth, side to side and in circles. So let's do the circles this time. Let's do 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Again, these are now big swings, okay? Let's go the reverse, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After doing exercises, I recommend that you use heat to relieve your knee pain. And this one right here is just a towel or a washcloth that was sewn by a patient of mine filled up with rice. And you can put this in the microwave for one minute and it will retain heat, okay? so. Get one of these, or you can also fill up a long sock, fill it up with rice, tie it on top, and then microwave it for one minute, okay? So after put, putting this in the microwave, it should retain heat and put it over your knee for about 15 to 20 minutes. This will improve blood flow, relax tight muscles, and because there is better blood flow, it will also speed up the recovery and healing process, okay? So if you don't have one of these and you don't know how to, or you don't have access to rice, you can also use beans, okay? Use beans, fill up your sock, your long pair of socks, and tie it on top, microwave it. Now, you can also use a water bottle filled with warm water, okay? So just roll that water bottle around your knee area, to help relax your tight muscles, improve blood flow, and speed up the recovery process, okay? And that is how you use heat to improve or reduce the 
knee pain. Okay, the last technique is kinesio taping. And I'm using kinesio tape, and there are several brands out there. This video is not sponsored. Again, this is not sponsored, but who knows? Somebody out there might sponsor my next video. Anyway, I'm using kinesio tape, which is different from your normal athletic tape. This is more flexible and it will stay on your skin for up to five days. All right, so I'm going to show you on how to use a kinesio tape to relieve your knee pain. All right. So this one that I have right here is already pre-cut, okay? Make sure that you have already removed the hair, your body hair around the area where you use this tape so that it'll be easier for you to stick it to your skin and it won't be as painful when you try to remove it and change the kinesio tape. You also need to wipe off the excess oil or lotion around the area where you are going to stick this tape on it will stay there a little bit longer, okay? So use isopropyl alcohol or wash it with soap and water and then wipe it off, okay? And make sure the skin is a little drier, okay? So the first area you want to tape is just below your kneecap, okay? So I'm going to just go sideways right here and you're going to bend your knee as far as you can tolerate, okay? So the first strip, will be just under the kneecap. You're going to tear the middle part and peel off, okay? Again, bend your knee as far as you can. Find the bottom part of your kneecap and Put the tape there. Stretch it 100% and then go back 80, just slightly. And put it there, just slightly below the kneecap. All right. And then put the anchor, pull back. No stretch at the anchor points. Pull back. All right, and then rub to activate the adhesive. All right, so we're going to use three strips here. Next strip, the next piece of kinesio tape, we're going to tear about two inches for your anchor and take that part off just below the first piece of kinesio tape. I hope you can see. That will be your anchor, no stretch there. And then you're going to pull this around your kneecap. Okay, just a little stretch, about 20% or even none is fine. So around your kneecap, find your kneecap. And then remove the anchor at the top and then rub, okay? And the last piece of tape, you do the other side. Okay, again, one end, about two inches or so for the anchor. Hope you can see. And just on top of the other strip. Then go around the outer border of your kneecap. Okay, a little stretch there. And then peel off the rest of the backing and then rub the tape to activate the adhesive. All right, I'm going to stand up so you can see how it will look like. 
All right. So there will be excess skin there. It will be a little wrinkled, but don't worry. Nobody will pay attention. And if they do, just tell them you're an athlete. Okay. So that is how you use it. That is how you use a kinesio tape to support your knee and help you with your knee pain. Now, I hope that the pain level is lesser than the pain level you had before doing these techniques and strategies. And if you find this video helpful, please click on that subscribe button, give this a thumbs up and click on that notification bell. And please try to share this to your family and friends who would benefit from these techniques to reduce their knee pain. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, just type it down below in the comment section and I will try my best to answer all of them. But just forgive me if I reply kind of late because I'm still working as a full-time occupational therapist. And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, palam! Shup!